Alright, hey everybody, and welcome to another exciting game of Backyard Baseball. So, a couple of things I want to start out with. First of all, if you didn't see last game, you really should. It was the best game of Backyard Baseball I think I've ever played. It's up on my YouTube channel. Uh, you, the link for that is in the About page of my Twitch channel. It's really good, so you should check that out later. Uh, going into game 12, I'm just hoping that we'll get a game that's even half as epic because we spoiler alert we won 16 to 2 which was absolutely insane and that's kind of leading me into my next point which is I was trying to figure out if last game was just a fluke or if there was something that I did differently last game that helped improve my performance now part of it was luck because the enemies made a lot of fueling errors but we still got a lot of home runs, and I think part of it has to do with the batting stance, which I don't, I still don't know what the batting stance actually affects, whether it's open, squared, or closed. But I have a theory now. In the past, before I started streaming this, I thought that like if you hit opened, you would hit it in the direction your player is facing, closed is the direction away from the player is facing, and then squared, you generally hit it straight down the middle. That's not the case. Then I thought, well, maybe if you hit it opened when uh, the, p the pitch is hooking in the direction of your character, then you'll hit it more inside. If it's uh, like hook away from your character and you hit it closed, maybe it'll hit the opposite direction. And then if it's uh, not a hook, you hit it squared and it can go potentially anywhere. My new theory, I still don't know if this is true, but the theory that I have working is that your batting stance affects which parts of the strike zone you can actually hit. Because I've complained a lot where I'm like, sometimes they throw the pitch and it's in the strike zone, but you can't hit it. The reason is, I believe if you hit it squared, you can't hit balls that appear in the far left and far right part of the strike zone. If you hit it open, you can hit the like half of the strike zone that is closest to your character, but not the half that's farthest away, or it's harder to hit that, and then the opposite for closed. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to try to pull up uh, I'm going to experiment with that today. I'm hoping if I do that, I'll be able to get some more hits. And that would answer a lot of questions. Also, hi Prince Dusk. Welcome to the stream. First Artie streamer joining in. I'm super glad to have you. This is going to be a fun time. Also, hi Marty. <laughs> Marty, your boyfriend uh, <laughs> plays baseball. Is that generally... Do I generally have that right? Your batting stance affects what part of the strike zone you can hit? <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow. We've got our all-star team, Tony Del Vecchio. If, if my theory works out, and Tony could end up playing significantly better than he has in the past, which would be excellent. All right. Lisa's going to be head pitcher. I'm keeping this batting order. This is the batting order. I think is spectacular. Let's start. Welcome back to Baseball Fever, all you crazy fans. I'm Sunny Day, and joining me is my pal, Vinny the Gooch. Together, we'll bring you every bit of the action. What she means is... She's never gonna stop yapping. It's my job, Vinny. Playing in today's game are the Green Giants and the Junior All-Stars. This has been quite an exciting season for these kids, and the All-City BBL playoffs are in sight. These kids should be very proud of their performance so far. They've played hard, and it's paid off. I think we're all ready to play some baseball. Don't hold back, fans. Show the All-Stars how much you want them to win. Okay, we're back. Good, we're back. Sorry about that. Again, I don't know why, but every so often my internet just decides, nope, we're going to turn off for five seconds. And that can be rather annoying when it happens during streams. Fortunately, if it had to happen at some point in the stream, I want it to happen at the beginning before I actually start playing, because it's kind of hard to play base. It's kind of hard to stop in the middle of a play if something goes offline. Also, what the heck is going on? Yeah, exactly. Glad it's now rather than later, because no gameplay was missed. All you missed was Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch saying essentially the exact same thing that they always do. Anyhow, today we are facing off against one of the top teams in the division, the Green Giants. We kind of slaughtered them last time, 6-0. to zero. And we're riding high off of our last game. We just had a long day at the pizza parlor. So we're all hyped up and ready to play ball. Pitching today is Lisa Crockett. If it curves or catches fire, 
Mad Dog can throw the heck out of it. Just don't ask her to throw a slow ball. Here goes nothing. Shane Smith steps up to bat. All right, Shane Smith. So the Giants have got a good color, but that's about it. We can. I, I'm confident. The only the only time a team has really given me trouble as far as their batting is concerned was last game, and only in the first inning. <laughs> Ramona and Betty White both hit home runs last game, but that was all in the first inning. Yeah. Dimitri and Lisa, the unstoppable combo. I've also been thinking about if I end up doing a second season uh, set of streams, which characters I should keep on my team and which ones should get replaced. I was originally thinking Tony's getting put off the team, but Tony's kind of been the center point of my team in like every episode. <laughs> so maybe he'll end up staying. I don't know. We got to keep Pablo and Pete and Kenny. Dang, that kid's fast. <laughs> yep. That's Dimitri's signature move. Catches the ball, gets them out, then throws it out of play just because he can. <laughs> Kick out Kenny? I can't, Marty. Kenny's one of my best players. Him and Pete are, like, the best combo. Uh, hey, Melo, welcome. <laughs> Molly May steps up to bat. <laughs> yes, last game was very strange because last game we played super well, but also we had the, like, the game just glitch out on us a few times, like that infield fly that wasn't infield and wasn't a fly, but it was counted as such. <laughs> oh, Melo, Dimitri's done that so many times. That's literally his signature move. Yes, Marty, I was thinking kick out Jocinda. Jocinda's not been very good. I'll probably also realistically kick out Jorge. Because Jorge's been, like, not great, realistically. Dimitri, I, I really like Dimitri though. He's a great first baseman, and he actually has been a fairly consistent hitter. Maybe I'll swap out like Lisa for Angela because Lisa's a little OP. Good point. <laughs> and there, Lisa does demonstrating my point. I gotta see that one again. Halfway through the inning now. Yeah, Pete and Kenny are an unstoppable combo because they're both fast and they can basically always get on base. And then Pablo and Keisha can help them get home. All right. Mew, mew, music, Murray. Yeah, look at... if I've learned if you have more than a .5 batting average, you're really good. All right, time to test out my new batting theory. So if I hit... So I'll just say this. If I hit open, my guess is I can, like, hit in the right half of the strike zone, because that's the side that Pete is closest to, and I'll have a harder time hitting things that are over on this side. Center. Here's the pitch. And if it's roughly in the center, I'm going to... Okay, that's a foul. Rats. From the windup, Rose it. The wing. Darn it. Strike two. He can't let this pitcher get the best of him. 0-2. Oh, all right, Pete. Here's the motion. Here's the pitch. Swinging. And it goes It's okay if you hit a foul, Pete. I just kind of want you to get on first, because <laughs> you're definitely the person who's gotten home the most times. He winds, and the offering. Swinging. Okay, that's not a grounder. But maybe they'll drop it. No. Good, good effort, Pete, but that was not what I told you to do. I told you to hit a grounder, and you hit a pop fly. <laughs> All right, Kenny. Maybe you'll have better luck with the grounder today. There we go. That's a grounder. Unfortunately, Kenny's not as fast as Pete, and thus he gets out. Rats. All right, Pablo. Aim for the fence, as always. I find it amusing that Pablo doesn't have one of the higher batting averages on my team. Ready now, and delivers. Okay, that it's going up the right definitely was line, powerful. You just put it all ball. into the height. And they're going to catch that. Dunk on it. He's out of there. That's always unfortunate. That'll end the inning. Well, okay, maybe my Jordan theory is a little off base. I'm going to keep trying, though, because it's possible I just got unlucky, but... 
Again, the mechanics of this game are designed to be simple enough that you don't really need to be, have them explained to you, but it sure would be nice if they were explained to me so I could understand, like, in detail how best to play the game. Oh my gosh, Pablo actually didn't drop something for once. It's a Halloween miracle, which those generally don't happen. <laughs> Alright, Sheila. I know tossing the heat has cost me in the last game, but I'm confident. Lisa's good. Alright, nice hit. Right to Lisa and right to Dimitri. Dimitri, not again. Not again, Dimitri. <laughs> Felix the Grant, eh? Well, from the wind up and the pitch. He'll be easy to get out. Oh yeah. Kenny's too fast for that. Okay, Lisa. Oh my! Whoa, Pablo! <laughs> Pablo, that was a fantastic toss to Dimitri. Kenny, you've got great. Kenny, that's like the fourth time you've thrown the ball in someone's face. You really need to learn not to do that. Also, Lisa, you need to learn to let other people do their job and not do it for them. Alright, Keisha Phillips. Maybe you can prove my batting theory to be correct. From the wind up, he throws it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Not a home run. Oh, but that's a that's a get glorious hit. Actually, no. Just get, take the single, Keisha. That was a great hit. Hitting closed so seems to increase power generally, okay. especially if it's on the right side of the strike zone. Like, that's how I got both of Tony's home runs last game, was he hit closed and the ball was on the right side. Center, the delivery, the swing, and the foul ball. Runner on first, with nobody out. Alright, Jorge. Jorge, show everyone who is boss. Yeah, so my theory is I couldn't hit the ball there, because I was hitting squared, and it was at, like, the far right side of the strike zone. The target goes up, here's the pitch. And, like, there. I could reach it, but it was fouling because I was hitting open and it was close to the center. Yeah. I also think if you're hitting closed, you might be able to hit balls that are slightly outside the strike zone as well. Just, I don't know that for sure, but it's possible. No, they're going to catch that. No. it goes foul. And she goes down. Keisha, don't run to second if it's foul. Runner on it's first, just asking nobody for it. Out. <sighs> Maybe I should stop hitting power with Jorge, but I kind of want to get a home run with him eventually. That's, of course, the one pixel of shadow that was actually in the strike zone is where the ball went. Dimitri's a pretty good hitter and runner, but he gets tired easily. Okay, Dimitri. I've determined I just realized, that our Dimitri's glasses don't appear to be connected in the middle, which means he's basically wearing two monocles. Of the opposing team. Lisa living up to her Mad Dog nickname? Yep, she right usually now, does. And delivered. Swung on. Okay, yeah. That's a pretty... Mm, don't catch that. What the heck with the rocket pitch? <laughs> what? Oh my god, are you serious? Really? That sucks. We actually were batting okay. What? Why are they putting the people with the rocket pitches in the infield? I feel like you can put them in the outfield so they can actually get it from the outfield back infield really easily. I don't understand. I mean, it worked out for them. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. So soon. Leah NG. I don't think I've ever seen the last name of just NG before. A swing, a blooper, and Lena, if you're bunting, you better be like close to being as fast as Pete Wheeler. If you're if you're slow, that's not gonna work for you. Actually, even if you're as fast as Pete Wheeler, it still might not work for you because Kenny's got quite the arm. Ready now, Rose. What's up, Doc? 
the wing. Whoops. Slice. And the count is 0-2. Okay, she's hitting. So she's hitting open. So let's try throwing one on this side. Maybe she missed. She still hit it, but she fouled it. Let's try another one of this. Let's try another one. The wing. Okay, she hit it. it up. But Kenny's going to catch that. Yep. Oh, it's it's her twin, Arlene Perez. Different last name, but... She literally looks exactly the same. We haven't gotten any strikeouts yet, which is a bit of a shame. Because we could really use some juice for the future innings. They're making contact with the ball a lot. That's part of it. Like, they generally barely hit it, but we get them out easy. But I want strikeouts. Stop hitting it! Smoke them out with the heat. And you're out. You don't bunt at two strikes. All right, well, there's our first strikeout. We get a power up. All right. Jocinda, Lisa, and Tony. Out of these three, I would say Tony might be best at this point. Jocinda has hit one home run. Tony's hit two. So, do with that what you will. From the stretch and the pitch. A swing. That's foul. But they're going to catch. And that's an out. Other than the Sox, the computer players never drop anything. It's like they all have maxed fielding. All right. Well, Lisa, you're not hitting power. You're going to hit line drive. That's too low. Reason you like later backyard baseball games, less generic players. Like on the enemy team. Oh, solid hit. Oh, that was a beautiful hit, Lisa, right in between them. Do not run to second. They're trying to bait me. All right, Tony. Tony, Tony still has one of the lowest batting averages of all my players, though. All right, Tony. I now know you have special Jedi powers. He's ready now. He throws it. I'm not swinging. Even if that's a strike, I'm not swinging at that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hitting closed as Tony seems to be the way to go. Oh, no. We're, that's a double up. Okay, they actually did drop something. Wow. I can't believe it. You actually hit a single, Tony. That's great. All right, Pete, you're not bunting or grounding your aim today. You're actually going to try to aim for the fence. Uh, what am I supposed to do again? Uh, get a home run. That would be amazing. He's set. Pitch on the way. A swing. That's a foul. Well, that did not go in the direction I was expecting it to, but all right. <laughs> I know starting in 2001, they introduced the pro players, which I honestly did not like. I prefer the kids. Uh, well, that's not good. Please, Tony, Tony, please. Tony! Oh my gosh, your second baseman sucks, and Pete got on. But that's still be a big problem because Kenny is not good at batting. Okay, Kenny, you're actually going to try hitting a power. I've seen you hit home runs before. Not in this season, but in the... Pitch on the way. Swing. That's not going to cut it. Tony's going to get out. Unless they... Wait. Nope, they're baiting. He's safe? I don't believe that. I actually think he was out. But I'll take it. Oh my gosh, Pablo Sanchez. Grand slam opportunity. I can't believe that Tony did not get out there. They had to make a pathetic fielding error... And the ump made a bad call. I'm pretty sure the ball made it before Tony did, but... He's ready now. And the pitch. The swing. That's out! Pablo Sanchez Grand Slam!
Okay, Pablo, you are officially getting on my team next season as well. I mean, you kind of have to have Pablo on your team every uh, if you're if you're serious about the baseball. That was brilliant, Pablo. Your MVP. We're going to the ice cream parlor after this. Oh my gosh. Grand Slam. That was our first Grand Slam of the season. That's that's epic. All right, Keisha. Okay, I'm learning. Closed seems to give you the most power. Maybe that's confirmation bias, but I swear that that's how it's going. Okay, that's a nice hit. Straight to their outfielder. It's okay, Keisha. That was a good inning. You did good, Keisha. You did really good, Pablo. <laughs> El Gran Slam. <laughs> I don't know how to say Grand Slam in Spanish. I'm pretty sure the word Grande would be in there, though. The All-Stars are shining bright tonight. All right. Shane, Wally, and Molly. Wally and Molly, okay? Oh, it's going to be such a shame when we strike him out. Oh, sweet. Big freeze. <laughs> the most busted pitch in the game. Watch me now. Actually, if you're going against computer players, I think Fireball actually might be a little more busted. Just because the computer players always seem to be able to tell when the big freeze is coming. Hey, bro. I'll try to... I'll put one right down... Okay, that's not right down the middle, but... <laughs> Alright, well, you tried. <laughs> you tried, Jib. So long, Chainsmith. Good. Shane was not happy about <laughs> Shane will Wally remember Evan that. Up the bat. <laughs> it's like one of those telltale games <laughs> where it's like the decision based ones. It's like, oh, <laughs> Shane will remember that. <laughs> Into the Grand Slam in Spanish is Grand Slam. <laughs> you pulling my leg? <laughs> Dimitri. Oh my gosh. He's a moron. He's trying to go to second. Oh my gosh, he was a moron! <laughs> That is, like, Dimitri's second error I've seen in my life. When he's on first base, he's supposed to catch everything when he's on first base. Why would you do that? You only barely made it to first base by the skin of your teeth. Why would you try to go to second? <laughs> Especially since we didn't, like, drop the ball out of play or anything. It was literally just we had the ball. <laughs> and you decided, no, I'm going to go to second. One and two. Yes, Dimitri. Everyone, we're, we're all acquainted with the concept. All right. Really? Why is it when I... Why is it whenever there's a large shadow, it's always on the outskirts of the shadow? Like, always. <laughs> if this is another foul... On, okay. I was about to say, if that, was, if that fouled again, I was going to give Lisa the juice. All right. We're still, we still pitched a perfect game, because technically, even though they made it to first, they didn't actually stay on first. <laughs> You're telling me the truth? Okay, all right. I believe you. Grand Slam in Spanish is Grand Slam. All right, Jorge. I feel like Jorge has to hit power if he wants to get it in the outfield, and he is so slow that he needs to get in the outfield if he wants a shot at getting on first. He winds, cuts to the plate, so we a swing, strike Little too early. One too late. No out. Oh, it's not a perfect game if they actually touch first? Never mind. And the pitch. Swing. That was in the strike zone, I could tell. Up. Well, you tried, Jorge. He's out of there. Dimitri Petrovic is back. Jorge, ah, man. One of my, yeah, Jorge's getting the boot next this season. Pitcher, so I know what throws are coming. All right, Dimitri. Well, let's see what you got. Into the wind and the pitch. That's too low. Right Apparently, that wasn't too low. I don't, I don't know if they believe that, but. The stretch fire. Swing better, better. A swing. Okay, and another pop, pop fly. I probably should have gone line drive there. Oh, the twins are gonna catch. No, they don't. Because the twins are apparently the two people on their team who actually fumble a lot. Why would you put them on second and shortstop if they fumble pitches a lot? You could put one of them there, but not both. Time for a home run. All right, Jocinda. Let's see that home run that you consistently promise me. Okay, well that's a good hit. That's a good hit. Not a home run, but I'm happy with that. 
was very nice. Uh, Dimitri, you can go to third. Maybe not. If she, no, okay. She's good. We're good. We're good. Nice job, Dimitri. Nice job, Jacinda. Way to hustle, Dimitri. I know running with, wow, your pants are falling down can be hard. Oh, no. Okay. Lisa, either you need to safely get on first, or you need to let Jocinda safely get the second. If you both get out, that's going to be bad. The stretch, the delivery, the wing, the right one. That was a strange pitch. It looked like the ball went outside of the shadow, but okay. Into the motion, throws it. Swing. That is not Chopper the direction third, that um, no physics dictates it should have gone, but okay. Okay, at least it wasn't a double play. Out there. Oh my gosh, their infield has has have bazookas. <laughs> Tony, you've got you gotta hit you gotta hit it in the outfield. For me, but you gotta hit it. Ideally, you gotta get a home. Watch this one flick. Ready now, and the offering. Strike one. Not even close to that one. Gee, Runners at thanks, the corner. Vinny. Two out. Swing. Ready now. Fire. Swing. The swing. Okay, that's a good hit. Is that another home run? No, they're going to catch that. Wait, Dimitri, why weren't you running to home? Oops. Wait, no, no, no. Lisa, stay. Lisa, stay. Nice job. I was sure they were going to catch that. Nice job, Tony. All right, Pete, got another chance at a home run here. Oh, yes. Pete, I know you're good with a baseball bat because your head is literally shaped like a baseball bat. I would say, I would argue Pete is the best all-around player that I have on my team. Um, no. That was a strike. Runners on first and second, two out. Those hooks, man. Sometimes it can be really hard to tell what's a strike and what's not. The delivery, swinging. Um. Well. That was easy. Well, that's that's not good. Unless they drop it, but they won't. Yeah, only the twins will drop stuff. That's okay. Good try, Pete. Good try. Two left on. The All Stars winning up by five. The All Stars. Tony is in the top five. Speaking of spitballs. No, we've heard about that. Tony is in the top five players in the league, not just a... Whoops. I accidentally pushed the mute button there. Tony is in the top five players in the whole league, not just my team, the whole league for uh, runs batted in, which all of which are basically from last game. All right. Uh, I'm going to give her the juice now. I'm going to give her the juice now. And the offering... A swing, strike two. Looks like a right hook. Batter's gonna have a great eye. Smack one of those babies. Oh and two. From the windup, here's the pitch. Yeah, Pete is kind of a monster in this game. His incredible, his incredible speed is great for like, oh, catch this, Josinda. Nice catch. His high speed basically means he's one of the characters who can actually consistently bunt or hit grounders, and he'll basically always get on base. And if he gets on base, good chance that he's going to get home because he's so dang fast that they basically can't get him out. He's really good at batting besides that, and he's really good at fielding, and he's got like a killer arm. He can even be a substitute pitcher, but I do not recommend that because that'll tank his speed. Yeah, Pete is I'd say Pete top three players in the game. Pete, Pablo, and... Who else would I put in? And probably Keisha Phillips, I would say, are the top three. Or at least I would have said Keisha, but Keisha honestly hasn't done that great this league. I'd also put Lisa as one of my best players, because even though she kind of, kind of majorly sucks at batting, she's so good at pitching and fielding that I don't even care. All good. we got fire and ice pitches. They're both amazing. Be saving those for the last inning. Okay. Jorge, are you going to break your ribs? No, he didn't have to break his ribs. He can catch with the back of his hand. Jorge is definitely at least a three at fielding, not a two like the game he tries to tell you. The All-Stars are leaving him in the dust. Up by five. The All-Stars are shooting high tonight. Kenny, be generally, Pete and Kenny work great as a team because I can basically cheese the AI to make them be like they'll try to get Pete out, which will buy Kenny enough time to get onto first. We don't have Pete on base right now, so he's going to have to hit a line Here's drive and hopefully hit it in the throw. outfield. But we're, we're not swinging at that. that was ball one. <laughs> or they could walk Kenny. That would be great. 
I'd be very happy with that. From the wind up and the throw. I'm not swinging. Ball two. <laughs> Don't mind Kenny. He's just doing a new dance with his wheelchair. Swing better, better. Swing better. From the stretch and the offering. I'm still not swinging. Strike one. That one got There's a decent me. chance no that out. they could walk him. And if it's like half in, half out, I'm not taking the chance. From the wind up, the two one pitch. That was ball three. Okay, and three and balls, three one, one strike. They very well might walk Kenny, which would be a really bad idea. Here's the motion, fire. Swing. A swing. Okay, that's a nice. And no, that's darn it. Out. They did, they did a dive. Walking Pablo is also not the best idea because Pablo is really fast as well. But again, he got a home run, so maybe they will. Honestly, that might not be a bad idea for them, but they, they won't. Please get on base, Pablo. Oh my gosh, that kid is like lightning. Aw, oh man. I had to try to hit the crazy ball, because crazy balls are easy to hit, and I would get a special bat if I got on base. Had to try it. But that was that was good on their part. Okay, Keisha. Oh, they're going to catch that, though. Darn it. They baited me with the crazy balls. The All-Stars winning up by five. Murray Goldman steps up to bat. That's a All right, well, this, that was our last inning at bat, unless something goes terribly, terribly, terribly wrong this inning. At least it's not real baseball. I, I honestly, I enjoy an occasional game of real baseball. I, I suck at it massively, especially at hitting. But if I have, like, a group of friends, like, I used to play it at, like, our church's, uh, like, annual picnics. That was really fun. Again, I sucked and was definitely the worst on the team. But it was fun to play. Okay. <laughs> Pop fly, easy out. I said, Lisa drops it and she still catches it. <laughs> All right. Last at bat, Arlene Perez. Perez is a word, I have a name I haven't heard since the Bible. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? We've got special pitches. Let's just get them out the cheesy way. That might be the first time I've ever seen someone hit a fireball. Well, they're still out, and that's game. That was a pretty high-scoring game, all things considered. We don't get another at back because we win by default. Everybody's so excited on the field, they're jumping up and down. Even the parents out in the stands are dancing around out there. I think I even saw somebody's dog leaping in the air. <laughs> from the park department field number are they allowed two, to bring dogs to a baseball game? Wouldn't the dog the chase after the ball? See you next time. That would be kind of interesting. Like, in a backyard sports game, one of the people you can get on your team is, like, an actual dog. I don't know how that would work with batting, but, like, he could field, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> Maybe that would be too weird. Anyhow, that's the game. Monsters beat the Hornets. They played 11 innings. Wow. Rockets, bombers, chill. Holy cow. 11 innings is insane. If you keep the dog's leash to a fence, it should be fine. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, we're still definitely the, the dominating champs. We got 11 wins, only one loss. The Bombers have seven, Monsters have six. Okay, so Monsters, Giants, and Rockets are now all tied as being pretty good, and the Bombers are now our main threat. That's interesting. Uh, and the Sox, so oh, poor Sox. Okay. Pablo Sanchez now has the most home runs, or tied with Felix Grant. He moved up. Keisha Phillips has three? I don't remember getting three. I remember getting two. Uh, Pete Wheeler definitely is hitting the most uh, hits. Or had gotten the most hits on of Kenny, Pablo, and Dimitri. I don't I'm not sure if I've really hit many doubles at all. Kenny still only has two triples. Uh, Pablo now has the most runs batted in. Oh. Tony's no longer on the list. Uh, Pete's scored the most runs, yeah. Pete's has the highest batting average? Okay. Kenny has the second highest? At least on my team? That seems very strange. I feel like. Well, no, Kenny can get on base pretty consistently. Again, thanks to his team with Pete. 
Uh, Pablo has a slugging percentage. Pete Wheeler's stolen a lot. Lisa Crockett has <laughs> the most strikeouts. She struck out 63 people. That's insane. Earned run average? Lisa Crockett? I don't know what that really means. Pablo Sanchez has had some of the most fielding errors. Yeah, I, that does not surprise me. All right. Well, I'm glad they're keeping track of that. <laughs> two games to go and a four-game lead. The top seed is already fully clinched. The next two games are meaningless in terms of placement. Well, I'm still going to try. Got a rematch against the Bombers, and they're now the second-best team. I only beat them by one point last time. And <laughs> our last uh, game before the playoffs are the Sox again. <laughs> We could potentially see another domination. Oh, oh, Lisa, that was how many uh, percentage of runs she gave up. Oh, yeah, Lisa's not the best at hitting by any means. All right, those playoffs are getting nearer and nearer. Next week, we'll be able to finish off the main games. And then I think after next week, we'll have three streams, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, one on Friday, and we can do the playoffs then, and then we can finish up the first season. Oh, Marty, yeah. Mandalorian is more interesting than my streams. I, I can't compete with that. But I like to see... I like to think that I'm at least mildly entertaining. Anyhow, what you missed, uh, we won. We got five to nothing. You also missed... Uh, Pablo Sanchez got a Grand Slam home run. He got uh, four runs with a single home run, which was fantastic. All right. That was fun. That was not nowhere near as epic as the last game, but that was also a tall order to think that it would be as epic. Plus, again, Pablo Grand Slam. That's pretty nice. So, that's going to do it for this stream. Oh, hang on. Before I do, uh, errors and inherited runners do not count as they are not earned. And the number of innings pitched is taken into account. Not, I still don't know if I fully understand that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not a baseball aficionado. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, that's going to be it for Backyard Baseball for tonight and for this week. I do stream on Saturdays at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I uh, stream Clannad, which is a visual novel. If you want to join in for that, you are more than welcome to. Otherwise, I'll see you guys this uh, next Monday, where we will be playing off against the Bombers again, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look forward to that. Hope you all have a great rest of your night, and God bless.